new bottle. Who dis? <laughs> I told you I got it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right, ready? Yeah. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to review Remus' newest release, the old highest rye. The highest. Aged six years in beautiful MGP barrels. <laughs> Ross and Squid. Ross and Squid. If they have, if, I mean, look, we've kind of fought. They, they, they actually, we have fought. They actually have made the, the switch, haven't they? Yeah. We have fought about calling them Ross and Squid. And, you know, MGP said, screw you guys. New label, new wording. It is true. It is. The time is now. It looks like a cheap bottle, though. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, what's your opinion on this bottle? I don't like the bottle. I don't know if I like it either. I will say I'll, I, I've i never been a big fan of just, like, the normal, like, Remus picks and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Never been a big fan of it. Yeah. But I don't know if I like this one either. I, I mean, I do like, you know, they they put the mash roll right on the front and they have I the mean, there's lots of things, things to like about it. and just, I don't, But just the bottle itself. I don't yeah. love it, but probably, that's okay. Probably, but probably Remus, not. we love you. Ross sure. and Squibb, we generally love you. So, Artist formerly known as MGP. So if you ever need somebody to pimp your stuff, we're always available to do so. I thought you were in a super secret Remus club. I am in a super secret Remus club, but we don't talk about it. Anyways. I have a black so, card and everything. <laughs> Anyways, so we got this bottle up in Michigan uh, over at um, Jack's. Zatunia. <laughs> Is it Zatunia? Yeah, Zatunia. I always want to say like Zantanas. But, uh, so yeah, we got this up in Michigan. Found this. I think that was the only spot I, we found it at, right? Uh, Did we you, see it anywhere else? No. I think I that was the only place else. we saw it. So, excited about getting this. That ended up being a fun little place. That is a great place. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're ever up in, what, where were we at? Midland? I don't know. So yeah, wherever. Near it, wherever Detroit. Wherever the of the park is, just look that up. In Detroit. And then go to Jack's, and, and it's awesome. It's Yeah. Go to Zatunia, and it's there. Uh, ask for Jack. Yeah, we got all kinds of things. I think we got like four bottles from there. Yeah, we probably already talked about this in a video. Yeah, probably, yeah. Already. But, yeah. Anyways, going back to this. So, this is a brand new bottle, brand new release. It is 51% uh, corn, 39% rye, and then 10% malted <clears throat> rye. So... I can already... I, like, if I had to say... Like, if I was going to guess whether Zach would like this or not, as soon as the word malted was in it, I'm just going to generally say not true he's not gonna love it i i mean i really enjoy the new riff molten molten dry six year molten dry the, the the wow i just have this right here yeah i i really actually do like this bottle a whole hey, lot. don't even put those in the same video screen this is good it's yeah it's good i do like that one too yeah it's good it's like the only good thing from new Riff. Mm. Um, i didn't say that i did Generally, that's me that says it. So it's also fifty-five bucks, so it's reasonably priced. Yeah. you know that's pretty good. Fifty-five bucks. That's what you expect. And to the pay proof is like a hundred and nine, so solid proof. Yeah, I mean, right off the nose, like, like just sniffing the nose, it's sweet. You're in. Okay. No, go ahead. Because whenever, so before this, we we already poured them, and by the way, this bottle I poured out samples like. Yeah, probably like close to a week now. Yeah. So it's had like a little bit of air time. Um, but whenever I went to smell mine, I hadn't tried it at all. So I went to smell it. I was like, mm, I want to I smell your Glen before you put your nose Did you into switch it. Glens? Nope. Oh, nope. Okay. We have the same one. I think we have the same one. I don't know. Either way, it comes off so smoky, barbecue-y, and like barbecue grease. Like, or <laughs> gristle. You know, now that you say that, like, I can get a. I can, I can see where you could get. And that. there's like a little bit of like a like a barbecue like. I still think the maple on it, like some kind of like powder rub. I don't know. If, look, I don't grill. Like I'm not like a barbecue or I don't know whatever. But whatever the seasoning is, it's some kind of seasoning on there, and it's like a rub. Yeah. Bruzel, have fun with that one. Let's oh, <laughs> did a video over that. Good luck. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I, will, I will say, like, it almost is sticky in the glass. Like, I mean, it. I mean, it's just hanging there. Yeah, it is. 
there's a smidge of sweetness on there. I think the maple in it. That's there's also I, a little bit of a barbecue chip note. Too. That's that's what I get. Like, is that mapley, and that's what is sweet to me on the nose. All right. You know, the rye pops like a little bit at front. Yeah. And then you get like a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of oak, and then it evolves into some nice fruit towards the back end of the palate. Yeah, I can see that for sure. A little drying too. A little. I, I like the finish. I think the finish it might be the best part of this. <clears throat> it's a good finish. I don't think it's super long. Like I, it doesn't feel super long to me, but it's good. There's a little bit of. There's nothing like overwhelming to it. No, there's a little it's, bit. Of, there's a little bit of leather on the back end. Yeah, I can I can taste that. I I just think like overall. It's kind of subtle all the way across the board. Yeah, a little bit. Um, maybe I expected it to be something different. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now. I think this is way different than what I would have thought MGP would have had. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ross and Squibb. Yeah. Like, this is very, to me, this is extremely off profile. And this is, it's almost like weird. Like, and I, and, and I don't know if it's weird in a good way or a bad way. It doesn't have the notes that you would expect a Ross and Squibb no, uh, rye to have. And I expect, I guess because I expected it, like, you know, it throws it out there, the highest rye. So yeah. you're thinking, like, all the notes of a good MGP rye, you were going to be like, okay, it's just going to be elevated. But yeah. I just feel like it's not at all. I think you're right. I think it is quirky in some ways. It's, it's very weird. I, I, a lot of that barbecue, I will say, that I was getting on the front, like before I started drinking on this, it kind of goes away the more you drink of it, the more you taste. I mean, all in all, like, it's solid. It's just different than I expected. And so I, I would guess I would probably need to drink on this two or three times to really kind of give it like a full evaluation. Just because what I was expecting isn't what showed up. Yeah, I, yeah, kind of in a weird way, I, I agree with you. I don't know if I like this or not. Like, it's so weird that I don't, like, it's kind of all over the place. Like, you get some barbecue notes, yeah. you get some oak, you get some fruit. You get some leather. You, you get, get some, some leather. Like, spiciness it's, it's kind of, like, everywhere. It's like they tried to put every, they, they tried to, like, let every flavor profile get it into Yeah, it. pretty much. It's just, it's kind of, like, I don't think it's bad. It's just weird. Yeah. Like, I think if you like, like, really weird and quirky stuff, I think you're going to love it. The good thing is the price point, it's only 55 bucks, so it's yeah. not, like, I mean, it's not going to kill you if, no. to go and buy this or whatever. I, w I wouldn't necessarily call it a buy, though. I, yeah, I don't think it is a buy. Like, I might go, is it a buy? I'd probably put my hand like this. Yeah. But some people are going to get this and really like it. Yeah. And so they're going to be like, you're crazy. Why isn't that a buy for you? Oh, yeah. No, whenever I take this and let the guys drink on it, I yep. know they're going to be like, it's kind of weird. But I don't, I don't know if anybody's going to say, like, that's bad. Yeah. I would definitely, if you could find it somewhere and at a, at a bar at a bar or, or something like something, that and yeah, try it, yeah. that way you're spending probably $8 probably. for a pour. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, and then you'll know, like, okay, I spent $8. I'll spend 55 for this bottle. Yeah. And I think no, that would that probably I, be the answer. That so, I would agree with. So I would be more like... Go to a bar, try it, don't necessarily buy it. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at, too. All right. So. All right, well, to, have we told people to like and subscribe and all that good stuff? Just did. We just did. All right, well, till the next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.